Today you're going to learn how to do the running stitch and the whip stitch. But first you need to learn how to thread the needle with the yarn. We start by folding a small piece of paper in half like a hot dog. And then you place the yarn inside that folded paper. This is easier to put it through the eye of the needle. The eye of the needle is the circular part of the needle, so watch as I do it. Now to tie a knot at the top, you need to make a loop, then you need to cross the string through the hole and pull it through the hole and then you pull both strings out to tighten the knot. Repeat these steps at the end of the string. So make a loop, pull the string through the hole, and then pull outwards to tighten the knot. So now your needle and yarn are secure on both ends. First, let's try the running stitch. Start here at the first hole and pull the needle through the hole towards you. As you pull the yarn, you're going to want to turn it over and since the knot won't be as big for this paper, but it will be when you use felt or fabric, we're just going to use tape to secure it too. Now turn it around and you can continue stitching. Put the needle away from you to go back and then towards you. And you just keep repeating this away and towards you. When you reach the stop line, you're going to need to cut the yarn and tie a knot. It's easier to tie a knot with the needle on, so I just make a loop with my hand and then pull the needle towards me through that hole. Then my knot is tied and I can tape my yarn to the page just to secure it. There you have the running stitch. It goes in and out of the holes in a straight line. So start by putting the needle through the hole towards you. You're going to need to tie a knot again and you can tape that knot to the page just to secure it. And instead of going away from you, you're going to keep pulling the needle towards you. Let's watch from the beginning again as the yarn just wraps around the edge of the page. Oops, I pulled so hard that the thread came out of the needle. I'll just re-thread it and tie the knot again. This time I'm going to try two knots so it's a little more secure. And I just keep going until I reach that stop line. Now I need to tie a knot at the end of my thread because I'm finished my project. And there you have it. Today you will practice a running stitch and a whip stitch and try to tie a knot.